forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension packed occasion. It is Chelsea, they take on West Ham United, and it's live. Hello and welcome. A lot of excitement here at Stamford Bridge because it's a London derby that we have to bring you, namely Chelsea against West Ham. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former West Ham player Stuart Robson. Stuart, prospects for this game, what do you think? Well, from a West Ham point of view, Derek, they're going to have to get their tactics absolutely right. If they play well, close the ball down and stop Chelsea playing, this could be a really tight game. Otherwise, Chelsea will dominate. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation without wing-backs which means the outside centre-halves will need to cover the areas out wide, which I would say is asking a lot. And the match is underway. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. And back with Havertz. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. In a short corner, let's see. Werner. N'Golo Conte. Conte. It's with Marcos Alonso. Kai Havertz. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the replay. Yes, it's a decent shot, but the goalkeeper has to do a lot better there. He's parried it out into a dangerous area, and suddenly the ball's in the back of his net. It's poor goalkeeping, you have to say. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be really good interception Marcos Alonso Saar now Werner excellent challenge It's a good-looking ball in behind. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done.
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Second goal for them here. Space on the flank. There to win it back. Marcus Alonso. Here's Mount. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And really, Stuart, they've left themselves with an awful lot to do in this one. Well, they have. They've got an uphill task now. That was just ridiculous. Quite the tantalising free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Alonso. Strength and control, a big part of his game. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Well, he's given it away. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Lanzini. Oh, showing excellent vision. Well, the attack fizzled out. Jorginho. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Timo Werner. Werner. Now Alonso. And Chelsea have given us away. Jared Bowen. Lanzini. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Failed to keep hold of it. Well, approaching half-time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Yeah, they're playing really well here. They've controlled the flow of the game, they've won their individual battles, and they've created numerous chances. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart! Well, it was close to the target, but close isn't good enough, really. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. And a throw-in forthcoming. Marcos Alonso. Beautifully weighted ball. Conte. Werner. It's there for him. Brilliantly blocked. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, Timo Werner, no two ways about it, can strike fear in any opponent, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. And the ball is moving again. No sugarcoating it. There was a huge gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from West Ham in the second? Vlasic.
Rhys James. On to Jorginho. Werner. Mount. On to Aspiniqueta. Could be. Well, it might still work out for them. Teammate available. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Three goals without reply. And for tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Time for a change, then. And an effective clearance. James. Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And time for the change now. Johnson and so 30 minutes left for play in this one Vlasic and they'll get ready for the throw in Suchek well they couldn't keep it breaking at pace defenders need to cover And Goro Conte. Here's Mount. Clears it away. Ziesch. And options in the centre. Lukaku. Mount. Possession changes hands. The interception there. For Niles. Suchek. Oh, he's given the ball away. Christensen. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. He's protecting it effectively. Lukaku, Conte, well he's given it away, opportunity here, and there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings, they haven't been at the best. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So back underway at 3-1.
Mount. Lukaku. Just made sure nothing came of that. And there to intervene. Jorginho. It needs an accurate cross. Well, Chelsea unable to retain possession. Antonio. Ball with Pablo Fornals. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Havertz. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Full-time men, the referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, a standout performance from Kai Havertz. Not for the first time, you've got to say. Stuart, he really turned on the style. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.